Hello and welcome to Coffee with Carrie. So I imagine most days you are sheltering at home, but on the days you venture out, I'm hoping you're putting a mask on because we're supposed to be wearing a mask in public. I have to tell you, today it was just a weird phenomenon. I was going to Costco to do some grocery shopping for myself and my folks. And as I'm getting out of my car with my gloves on and my masks, double, I'm looking at all the people with masks on and I thought, this is the world I live in now. And it just like blew my mind. Let's, yeah, this emoji. This is what I felt like right here. And it was a, it's a weird new world we live in. But I found that I had an issue when I was trying to read labels. When I put my glasses on and I had my mask on, that air that I'm keeping in there from the mask, every time I'd exhale and go to read, I couldn't see my glasses were all fogged up. I did some research and I want to share it with you. I know how to make that not happen anymore. If that's interesting, keep watching. That's what we're doing. Number one, and let me just say that the reason that the mask is not holding your air in is because it's not like the N95 masks, which have that metal strip there that holds it tight against your nose. That along the bridge of your nose is what keeps that air from escaping. And that's actually what's keeping you safe. If you are losing air from the top, it's not fitting you correctly. So the solution would be if you don't have an N95 that you've had around your house for years, because you obviously shouldn't be trying to get your hands on one now when our medical professionals need them so desperately. But if you're making one yourself, like I have made a couple now, I showed you, I had the one, I'll put the link to the video here, how to make a mask. That was the super easy one. There's another one. I found a video. I'll put, it's not my video, but I'll put the link down below. That's using a pair of leggings. I did destroy one pair of leggings. But if they're not tight enough, you're losing air, and that's what's causing your glasses to fog up. So the first solution would be to make your do-it-yourself mask or whatever mask you're currently using and make it similar to the N95 mask by putting some metal in there. How do you do that? Pipe cleaner. So yeah, if you can maneuver to put a pipe cleaner or cut a pipe cleaner in there, at, at least at the bridge of your nose or along the top folded inside your mask and form it across your cheeks and your nose, automatically you stop the air from escaping and your glasses won't fog. That's the best solution. You don't have any pipe cleaners? Number two. You've got to tighten it. Number two is tighten it. Either you need to tie it tighter behind your ears, you need to shorten it if you made it yourself and you're using rubber bands or you need smaller bands or you need to somehow make this tighter. Because honestly, if air is escaping and it's not tight enough, it's not doing you any good. Air's coming in, air's coming out, and your mask isn't working. So try tightening it up a bit. The third option would be the least attractive <laughs> and it's not hidden which would be to tape it and if you tape it you'd want to use medical tape or like bandage tape or sports tape i know that they do doctors do that in my hospitals actually but you would want to tape it across the area where the air escapes right across to the top of your cheeks and over the bridge of your nose attach that mask to your face with some tape the fourth one, besides the pipe cleaner, is sort of my favorite, and that is to pull your mask up. It just makes logical sense, but instead of having the air come up above and go under your glasses, pull your mask up and use your glasses to actually hold it in place. So I don't have a mask with me, but if you can imagine, I put the, thing, I put the mask there and I hold it down with my glasses so that the mask is, you can see it through my glasses a bit, that will keep the air from coming up to the glasses because you're holding that mask tight against your face with no air escaping. I just think it's a good idea. I'm going to try that one tomorrow because I do have to go to get some pet food. Your fifth option would be to treat the glasses themselves. And using just soap and water and letting them air dry would be one way to do that. Other people say you can try just using alcohol, which would kind of be like glass cleaner. I'm sure my mother would wax them. <laughs> if you've heard, you know, here's, the, here's my mother and her wax, if you're interested in that uh, helpful household hints from Lynn, my mother. Um, so you could certainly wax them or use Rain-X. She uses Rain-X on her windshield and the outside of all her um, windows at home. 
She uses rain -X, I think, on her shower doors too if she's not waxing them. But you could treat them. I think other people have mentioned you can use toothpaste. So experiment with actually treating your glasses. Mine are just cheaters and they're plastic, but I'm sure with glass it's different. Try one of those things, alcohol, toothpaste, regular old soap or alcohol. And my final tip on how not to have your glasses fogging up, steaming up, while you're also wearing your mask, is be, a, be my grandma. Just do your grandma impersonation and wear your glasses lower. If you're wearing them lower, the air still can escape through the top. Tighten it up, really, though, because it's not doing you any good. But if you do have a little air escaping, wear your glasses low down on your nose, which is... I have to admit, it's not just my grandma. I find myself in this position with my glasses in this position more often than I would care to admit. So just wearing your glasses down low, so they're sort of actually meeting your mask, but lower on your nose as opposed to pulling the mask up, and you've got room for that air to circulate. So be a grandma is your final option. I hope you found these tips helpful. If you did, please give my episode a thumbs up, and I'd love for you to subscribe. See you back here again sometimes, Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I put up ep new episodes every week. So please hit that ring bell button and you'll be notified every time that happens. Thank you for stopping by today. I certainly appreciate it. I look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, have a good one.